Do you think the the podcast space is oversaturated? And why do you think so many people are gravitating towards the podcast space to start their own podcast and stuff like that? Well, let's first define what does oversaturated mean? That is a good question. Oversaturated mean is too many people doing podcasts or just in one occupy one space. So you know what I mean? Do you feel like the you feel like that it, the genre is being oversaturated? Like everybody got a podcast. I'm tired of seeing this podcast. So you know, yeah. it's, it's oversaturated. That's that's kind of hard to argue that it's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, but sure. I don't give a fuck. You know. <laughs> so it's the rap industry, but nobody fucking tells exactly. like, the, like, you know the barrier of entry is like extremely accessible, bro. Like when you think about like sports, mm. when you think about music. There's a divide there that stops a lot. Even though it's like mad niggas who do music, it's still a divide that stops people because it's like you got to be talented. You got to rhyme. You got to have cadence. You got to have rhythm. You got to have a good ear. Mm. You got to have hustle in your body to really get your shit, your product moving. And podcasting is like, oh, you mean to fucking tell me I can literally get the cheapest mic humanly possible and just set it up. Mm -hmm. You have a podcast now. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do it. And the truth is, it's like there are more people... Many people have something interesting to say. Right. A lot of people are funny as fuck. A lot of people are deeply insightful. A lot of people got stories to tell that are interesting than a bitch. You could not be famous at all. Like yeah. I would I would pay a million dollars to hear a podcast from my grandfather. Like a million dollars because he was just an ill ass nigga. But like how many people's grandfathers are still living can do this exact same thing though. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? So podcasting is it's fucking it. I get why everybody fucking that's why I'm doing it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm seeing niggas do it. And I'm like, yo, like. These niggas is like not the best rappers in the world or they're yeah. not the best athletes in the world, but look at them striving and thriving though. Even my bosses, the people who keep the lights on in this bitch, I'm looking at them like, they don't have like a particular talent that's just like, oh my God, this nigga's a genius, but fuck it. You are paying for your, your family good. You living on both sides of the coast and shit. Like mm -hmm. I want in on that shit. Yeah. All right, welcome back to another episode of Daily Wrap-Up Crew. No book of, I go by the name of Eli. Follow me on IG, man. I don't even got no, like, no slogan for that shit. Like, it's just, <laughs> follow me on IG, man. The real Y Eli, man. The real Y. As Eli. always, we got Ace with us. Yes, indeed. And what it do, shout out to my brother, Jew. And the guests ain't show, but we gonna make it worth y'all while. We about to go solo, like, Beyonce when she left Destiny's Child, you heard? <laughs> Listen, man, that's, I ain't gonna front, man. You 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 got it. Like, I ain't, gonna, <laughs> like, I ain't even came and hate on that. Got it right <laughs> clean. Like, anyway, man, we got some special guests. We got a friend of the show. Y'all seen mm. him a couple of times on this show, man. Mm. We got Wolf, man. Let the Hopefully. folks know. what You know, you got the podcast. You've been going viral out here, man. Mm -hmm. Podcast, man. Halfway half, up. Six, very yeah. young. Six million, right? six, <laughs> six million views on that motherfucker. I seen that shit. Like, you know yeah, for six million views, that's not mine, but I we mean, still great. Yeah. What you we still, oh, That's all you, my boy. It's not on my platform, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Wolf from the Halfway Up podcast here mm -hmm. rocking with the guys. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last but not least, we got Big Bro, man. Y'all probably familiar with Big Bro. I don't know. He been on that episode. Keep it like, as Big Bro. He's, the, he's the Valentine's Day gift bringer in there. <laughs> like, that's, 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 that's he got a, he got a couple, of, couple of jobs. He's a right, silent right. voice you always hear about off camera. Yeah, exactly. Big bro, sure. you want to you wanna tell the folks where they can follow you at? I don't have anywhere to follow. Me. Oh, all right. Fair, fair <laughs> enough, you don't got social enough. media either? He do. I do. But <laughs> I, I don't, <laughs> he don't want the smoke. I, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Damn. All right. <laughs> Listen, yeah. man, before we get into these topics, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Join the membership, please, man, because we need all the support we can get. Sometimes, you know, YouTube, these algorithms be hating, but we definitely need that support. Cop the merch, man. Crew.co. We got some new merch designs coming up as well. And listen to that podcast audio every Tuesday, 6 a.m. And one more thing. Y'all gotta subscribe to the second channel, man. We got a second channel, Daily Wrap Up Crew Clips. I don't, I can't, mm -hmm. I don't, I can't say that I shit. I don't know how you remember like, all this know, shit. Like, it yeah. just sounds like, yo, it's like a tongue twister. Daily Wrap Up Crew Clips. That's that's crazy, See, God. I normally can't say shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, yo, subscribe to that. That's where all the short form content. Word. You know, we got two different pages now. So mm -hmm. the long form podcast, the different new content that we got coming out, and then the short form, y'all go over there with that. So mm -hmm. let me get to this first topic, right? Um, which artist do y'all believe? Um, kind of was like the had the most or the wasted most wasted potential, I should say. I'm mm -hmm. I, let me start this one off right. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about this, and I wish I had done more research. I'm like, I could probably name like a lot more people, mm -hmm. but the first person that came to my mind was Joel Santana. Right, mm -hmm. we never got a second album from him. That first album was fire. He was, you know, what I mean, Chris. 
Yo, the, he was on fire. Man. When Chris Brown came out, the, his the, his people say, "Yo, we need Joel's on this." So you get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he was that dude. Like you know what I mean? He was his rapping skills was just on par. Like you know what I mean? With the best. Like he, some might have would have said he was the best at that time. Like you get what I'm saying? So just to see him be at the height, you know what I mean, of his career with Dipset, and then not have not. It really didn't manifest nowhere, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean. So I, when I think about wasted potential, for some reason I always think about Joel Santana. Shout out to Joel Santana, man. I yeah, shout out to Joel. For sure. I just feel like, man, <laughs> you could have reached your ceiling. I don't know the, the behind the scenes and everything that happened or whatever with him, but I feel like he had a way higher ceiling that he wasn't. He didn't reach, man. So what, I could what, concur with that. I definitely feel like he could have been a bigger star. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't have another <laughs> suggestion for you, but. Joel's he definitely had it hot back in the days and just fell off the map. Yeah, he does have some behind the scenes issues going on, but you gotta be able to get back to work. Definitely. Mm. I feel like Joel's could have been up there with like Wayne, bro. I'm be honest with you, he could have been up there with Wayne, bro. I wouldn't say oh. he could have been Wayne up there with Wayne. You know what, man? He could have been up there with Wayne. Here we go. Here we go. Could have been up there. How much that? Consistent. How much that first Wayne album sold? He created a whole huh? bunch. Of how much that first album sold? You know, it went his Joel first album, Platinum Gold. It definitely went platinum. It sold. That first album was hitting. Like, you know what I mean? I got to go back. He had some hits on yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, I definitely got to go back to yeah, that. But he could have been up there with... Wayne was... But Wayne... Nah, Wayne that's saying... To put somebody on yeah, Wayne yeah, level, yeah, though, yeah. that's, that's wild, you. Bro. You got to relax, bro. You got to I'm saying, if you was I, I see what you're doing. If you're more cons- like, Stirring right, the pot. All right, listen, oh, man, Wayne listen. level? That is crazy. That's like, crazy. It's really disrespectful for it me. It really it's is. Not, it's not disrespectful. That's it disrespectful, is. It is. Bro. Joel Santana. We only saying that because we looking at the we looking at Wayne career now, and we be like, yo, if no, Wayne was Wayne because Car- he was consistent. Like you know what I'm saying. Even Joel the first five consistent. years of uh, Wayne's career is way better than Joel's. Like, you, but but what I'm saying is. Wayne is known for his lyricism, right? Mm. He's never been a good songwriter. Like, he had wait features. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait bro, a minute. He's wait never a minute. been a good... So all his greatest songs is either bugging. because of a sample... You're saying that like you saying that like it's a unanimous fact. No. What's that's the, how what's you feel. Song? What's a song with a hook? That's that's him. That's a great song. Like, how to Love. Comfortable. That, nah, that's that's a feature. That's a hook. You ain't say nothing about... No, he, said, he said... We're waiting. Also, song making. also on the hook. Yeah. Can't make a good song. Like yeah. no, no, no. What I, what I'm saying is constructing a song. Like you know what I'm saying. Like Joel's could go get a feature from fucking whoever. Amelie's not a great song, bro. But that's a that's a anybody could have did that. Like what you know what you mean? that's a sample. Th- Oh, see, he this just nigga moving on the goalposts like a motherfucker. Joel's could have did that too. That's what Joel's I'm saying. whole career is samples. What you right, talking but that's about? That's what I'm saying. If we compare Joel's and Wayne, right, and you mm. give them the same career, it could have been crazy. equivalent. That's all I'm so saying. saying. This is crazy. Joel's. Level of lyricism is it, it was Wayne's. up there with Wayne. Yeah, Joel's level of nothing, oh, <laughs> nothing. Don't, don't do that. Maybe don't, fashion. Joel's is good. Maybe fashion. Fa- fashion. Oh, Maybe that's fa- another thing. I'll get you have not, fashion. I'm not saying Joel's not good. That's some nice but shoes. Wayne, bro, have you heard him and Wayne yeah, on that? What's crazy. that one track they had? It was the Dead Presidents? I think, and it was going back and forth. Dead bro, this they had a, couple, a whole yeah, album yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, no, I remember that. No, I remember that. You, you ain't got nothing on me. Remember that that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a doubt. Uh, Joel's went off on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nah, he was Joel's is, he's, Wayne, nice. He, he's nice. He's nice. He's nice. But yeah. I don't know if you could. But Little Wayne is a legend, though. Never told. And Wayne is 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 an artist. Like you could put Wayne in any genre, bro. He going and has done multiple. Yeah, he's done multiple. Yeah, he's done multiple I can't has see Joel albums. doing rock rock songs and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, nah, Come on, nah. Bro. You really right, jumped it, off. Rock yeah, Joel's could have. Yeah, yeah, he jumped off right now. He jumped off. No parachute. Like, let me know in the comments. You went crazy, bro. I might be tripping. What y'all? What y'all think? What y'all think? Wasted potential, bro. I got to go Memphis Bleak. Mm. Got to. Memphis, I don't feel okay. like he was but in it for the music. That ain't what Jay said, though. I, but personally, I feel like he was he was one you, of those, like he was around the, the, those people. Yeah. And then people probably thought, he, yo, you should get on the track. Yeah. Was, I think that's, I, I, I think the same like thing about Joel's, too. I don't feel like he Bleak, was Bleak didn't, he didn't give me that I'm talented Vibe from I didn't get that from with him when I heard him rap though. I like, feel you. I mean, you just got like, oh, he just, like, he, just man, he just, he just, yeah, he J like, Man's, he gonna hop on the track. You know but the way I mean? Jay was but talking when, about when he was spitting, it was never like, oh, this is mm-hmm. like he, he <laughs> just spit more. You know what I mean, like, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I never probably, got that from. He probably nice. Who knows? He's probably spitting shit behind the scenes. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Nigga, it's niggas that swear about you know, Memphis Bleak, bro. Like you know, what I mean? they always say like that nigga was really like you know what I mean. Like it's kind of when they say about Young Buck, like they be yo Buck was really nice. I ain't really see it. Like I mean, I mean. J- uh, J- Jay said that like that Memphis Bleak was the second coming of him. Mm. So that's like 
That's a lot, bro. Like, Jay-Z literally said on record, like, yo, I'm going to retire. Mm-hmm. He going to be killing you niggas faithfully, like, as I sit on the throne. He but, said I mean, that. That's that's somebody in this camp that he tried to promote. But it's Jay-Z, uh, though. Man. Like, the greatest rapper of all time I type shit. So it's like... I don't know, bro. I, I, again, wasted uh, potential. I guess. Because, like, I... for nobody, like, when... I mean, Drake delivered when on Wayne's promise. You know, Wayne was like, mm-hmm. it's my nigga. Drake delivered. Well, Wayne so. also said that about Tiger. Mm. He, <laughs> he said that about Tiger. He was like, what? oh. Tiger, I couldn't say Tiger's worse Tiger fake had a little run. Well, I mean. Nah, he, he still got a run. He's still dropping music. Tiger, Tiger yeah, is. He's, he's a successful he, artist he by every hits, definition. He make hits. He make hits. Yeah. But, he make hits. But what I was thinking when Wayne said that is because I, I, I heard Wayne say that before I even heard a Tiger track. Yeah, so I get what you're saying. When I, when I heard Tiger, I'm like. I mean, I guess he built them up too much in my head. I don't know. And I was expecting And him. he still delivered on his promise, though, too. He yeah. definitely did. Like, he's a very successful artist, makes thousands yeah. of dollars, got more hits than I can count on at least one hand. Yeah, yeah. Tiger got hits, man. He got hits, yeah. you know? But Memphis is like, damn, Jay-Z said you was going to be the next him. Mm-hmm. Like, what's going on? What's your thoughts, Kim? I know you got a couple, man. I got a couple. Um, The couple that come to mind right now, I was going to say, um, what's... Damn, I can't even remember his name right now. Um... Hot, hot nigga, Bob, is Bobby Smurda. Bobby Smurda. Mm. Mm. He, okay. he, he had. But you think he had potential? Yeah, that's where I'm. He had yeah. New York in the whole in he the did, choke he hole. Did, he, he did. did. And then when he when he came out of jail, I th- I feel like the table was set for him to just drop something that that was going to have it in choke hole again, and he like yeah, dropped the ball. Didn't, on that. didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're not gonna throw slander on my boy Bobby. You know I'm from the. No, no slander. We can't, we can't it's not slander. No I'm slander. Just, <laughs> I think people, people take it. Hands, I, feel, like, I, feel, I feel like people take it negatively when you saying they ain't reached their full potential. That's not a negative statement. No, that not. means I believed in you. You know what I mean? And you ain't get to where I believed you would be. I don't right? know. I never looked at Bobby like, damn. You know what? Right. He, he's out of here. He's gonna be the next. Yeah, one. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Exactly. I, like he had that for great song. Like you know mm. what I mean? Number one song. But yeah, exactly. I ain't really think he. I I didn't think he was gonna follow up with that. Honestly, like you know what I mean? That's, I agree. I didn't. Kind of like what you said about Bleak. Like you ain't really get that feeling yeah, when you yeah. heard him. Same thing with Bobby. Yeah, I'm not saying I, I was expecting him to be like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jay Z or something. You know what I mean? I just feel like he he could have been. Higher than he is. Because when we say waste of potential, what we're yeah. really saying is like, we wish you would have had like a career. Mm-hmm. These niggas oh, had like shit. a moment. They didn't really have a career though. That's pretty much what we're saying. But I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying, I feel like he could have more moments though. Like, mm. yeah, I mean, he should, he, it, it was a joint after that too. I mean, it wasn't hot. It wasn't hot nigga hot, but it was, mm. you know, it was, that's before was, you went to that. Jail. Um, what's that? All these, Bobby that, bitch all, these all these networks and these computers. What's that song? Computers. Oh, computer, <laughs> oh shit. Like, <laughs> I didn't know it was Bobby's song. Yeah, like you know what I'm Bobby yeah. bitch. That's what happened to Bobby bitch? Bobby. Wait, wait, wait. That was hitting. Got you going on. You some shooters. That's Bobby. That's Bobby, that's Bobby and, Ro- and, and Roddy Rebel. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I thought that that's was right. Roddy, though. That's, right. that's, <laughs> that's right. crazy. I didn't know he was on that's that. Right. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. But who right. else you have? My, my controversial one, I'm going to say Fab. And the reason I say Ooh. Fab... This guy's yeah, you Fab on that is, one by yourself. Fab is in my top five all the time. Mm-hmm. But I just think his his success outside of New York is not where it You want him be. to be commercial, and I honestly, I don't want that for him. I feel like where the lane that he in is... is, is he he. He runs that lane. You can't. Nobody can tell me that. Yeah. Is he and not I, commercial though? Like I don't know. I he has some joints. He got some commercial joints. Commercial is what I call Drake. Mm. I don't. I, I wouldn't put him in the same lane as Drake. Well, I wouldn't say. I don't think he got to be commercial to be that big. Cause like, yeah, cause I mean, but do you consider Hove commercial? Jay Z. That was that was yeah. Jay Z commercial. I, I don't. I don't consider. Okay, there's a difference between mainstream and commercial too. I feel like okay. Mm, commercial what's the difference? is like you just tr- you're just trying to sell. Either a, a a product or you know it's just about a, a fad thing real quick. That's like I don't feel like Doja Cat. I feel like it's commercial. Mm. Nicki Minaj has become commercial. Mm. Like I don't feel like though. It, I I feel like Fab is not he like he's a mainstream artist, mm. but he don't give you oh I'm trying to sell you everything. Like this is my I feel like he's he's selling you his lifestyle, and mm. niggas that's gonna relate is gonna relate. Mm. I just I, I just feel he don't get the, the respect outside of maybe like the US or New York that he should get because yeah, Fab is, is really great in my eyes. Yeah, know? for sure. So I mean he he's a legend one for no, sure. No matter how you cut it, yeah, but I just I just felt in my he he could been he could have been like Jay Z or up. So there. where if you had to like um compare his career to somebody else's at a level you think he should be, like yeah. what level do would you like to see Fab at if everything went the right way, like fifty. 
Okay, that's saying a lot. Yeah. That's saying a lot. Mm, like 50s. I don't know. That's saying a lot. But I, I feel like tough. 50s fame is in his production. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not big on. The but that's what I'm saying. They they so they similar. They similar similar like. So well, I want to say what you wanted him to go into movies and, and and maybe that ain't fair. Now nah, I mean yeah. even I mean, his, even his career musically like fifty catalog musically like is cemented. Like I don't think yeah. Fab like. But nah. that's what I'm saying. It could be because Fab got hits. Don't yeah. I can't. Yeah, I don't I mean, know if I can see. Yeah, I don't have can't a, say that. Like his his collection of even his collection of music didn't have that impact the way Fifty his music did. Here, like blasphemy going true, on. True. Well, I think that, the, that's, that's a fact. I think like, the difference is like Fifty got like um, Fifty came up in the gangster era where like to be the gangster was the number one a thing to be as a rapper. Yeah. And Fab is like he might have street element in his music, but he not selling. G yeah, unit yeah, type yeah, aesthetics, yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. I could never see Fab being bigger than Fifty in that era because yeah, he's not yeah. a gangster. Fifty and Fifty is is more business savvy than Fab, is. right? So and more ruthless, probably way more savage. Yeah, true. Willing to do anything to get them them records. So you think? Playing. So you think Fab career could have been more like how J Cole career is? You think that could have been a thing? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, what do you mean? In terms I, of what? Like, you see how we selling, compare- Selling records? Yeah, selling records. He's lyrical. Mm -hmm. He's able to make- Well, he not. He can't make songs nah. the way Cole can make songs. Yeah, that's not- but, Yeah, that's probably what- It's something back, else bro, between them. It's like, it's not all the way that, and it's not I'm trying all to the find way somebody Cole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, something yo, else I, in between. Be like, you know what Maybe I mean? he got exactly what he's supposed to get when you right. think about it, you yeah, know? Because yeah. most of New York it's, artists stay regional, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, like the love in the when city you try is to crazy. Be too international. That's when, like, you lose, you kind of lose the element of like what you're. So, image. so what would y'all say the difference between Cole and Fab is? Brand. I think Cole song, the writing. artistry, yeah, the brand. artistry, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I would say brand because Fab is one of the people who, you know, he's he's getting him better now, but he never could make a a, a song. He was just a good. You know he can make a good verse. You know what I mean, but he can, he can't make a he can't good make hook a good. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's good here at rapping. Go. You know go. what I mean? Like he's here good at rapping. Go he's not good at making an actual song. Like you know he got a whole mixtape oh, series dedicated boy. to making great I don't songs. You listening nah, to the right music? Nah, nah. He, no, he got great songs. But I'm saying, as far as songwriting, no, like Fab is not there with songwriting. Like, can y'all please when they clip this up? Can y'all please leave a comment of all the songs so he can go do no, his fucking good research? Song, song right? Can please if you put Fab in the studio, like yo, come up with a good hook right now. He's gonna make one. He's gonna make one. Okay. Right. He's gonna make one, and it's like Can a gamble. You agree, you agree with that? I'm I'm sitting here trying to think of a hook. That's why I'm saying hook, what is a hook that Fab has made without a feature that you was like, damn, that's a phenomenal hook he wrote. Like, hmm. now in a verse, he gonna body this shit. He would he would he could answer that better because I'm like Fab was because never this is been why in Fab mind. is going to get features now. He's getting features to do those hooks because he's he wants to make better songs. Like you know what I'm saying? The verse he gonna kill the verse. We all know that. But he's getting features now because he's trying to make better songs. Like, hey, swear the songs there, bro. Look in your hey, phone, bro. Don't be, you don't gotta be I'm, too proud. All, about the, it, bro. all the great songs that he's thinking phone. about has I'm, a feature. I'm thinking, like, yeah, you know it's like, like somebody, somebody on the hook. Jeremiah, Drake yeah. songs, like somebody's on the hook. Nate like, Dog, you know? like, damn, holla back, young. Ooh, ooh. I mean, he did that. <laughs> I mean, that was cool when it came out. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Like, you know what I mean, but. Yeah, but like I said, but is that a great hook? It, but it, it, I mean? it wouldn't be like, considered a great hook yeah, in my yeah. eyes. You know what I mean, I mean, listen, man, let us know if we tripping. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe I'm tripping. I've been having some crazy takes, but let us know in the comments who y'all think. Because I feel like I'm missing a couple of people. Mm. Um, I wish I would have done more research, but this was kind but of this was, yeah, like, like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Listen, this next topic I want to get into. Um, you know, obviously, when we think about um, you know Black Americans as Black people, uh, we think about the, their sense of fashion, right? Mm. And when I think about the fashion, I think about how we have. Um, elevated a lot of fashion brands that's non-black. Like, you get what I'm saying? So anytime, Facts. what will Louis, Gucci, what will Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph. you know, what will all these brands be without black culture? Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, I want to just have a discussion on, you know, who, what brands do y'all think, like, damn, really made this, you know, even we talk about Supreme, you know, Supreme popped off because of Joel and Dipset, mm -hmm. like, you get what I'm saying? We all made, our culture made these brands successful and we continue to push these cultures. Why don't we push our own brands? What, what's your thoughts on this? Why do we always look outside of our own brands to kind of elevate them? I think, I think it's because in the black community, it's like brands, it's like a, a, a signal of success almost. And if you went, if you wear these kind of brands that these other races are wearing, I was like, oh, you got money, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I think that's why people like strive to like get these brands. Like it'd be brands that you hear people talk about in the song. You're like, what is that? And then you mm -hmm. go look and you see 
these, free advertising. Yeah, exactly. Like, these right. people, these people wearing it. Them. You're like, oh shit, I gotta get that. Never heard of Hermes then, until and, right. said it. Sure. Exactly. Van so, Cleef and shit. so I think I think it's just the because people want to appear successful and that's the easiest way to do it. Like the niggas had that energy for Fubu. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I mean, Fubu had a run though. Fubu that low key had run. Fubu but had a run. Was gassing Fubu up. Fat the Farm had a run. Had a run. Rev Run's daughters had pastries. That had a great run. Pastries was hitting. I ain't gonna hold um. It. Apple Bottoms. Apple Bottoms. Mm-hmm. House of Dar- uh, Darion. Was, Rock, I, I think Rock that Aware. actually didn't do too well. Rock Aware, mm-hmm. G-Unit Apparel. Yeah. Um, I honestly think that... But damn, it's not I, sustainable. I don't know how to say this the right way, so <clears throat> for lack of a better word, I'm going to just say it, but I think black designers don't make good enough products, to be honest. I think like black culture is so new into the race of creating like fashion for themselves. I think they're most of them are just doing that. They're creating fashion, but I don't can't say it's how great it is. You know what I mean? I think the people that have the lion's share of the market, they've been doing this way longer. They got a way bigger bag and they got the advantage on their side. And I think the best person who is like represented black people as far as fashion go is Kanye West. Kanye West. And I think that shows in every single part of his demonstration from the money he's made to the effect Every nigga in the world got a pair of, yeah. You know, every nigga, he got like a billion, well, he did have a billion dollar company at one point. Black man, unheard of type shit. The only person, he said Yeezy jumped over the jump, man. Like, that's a fact. He the only black person that actually did that. Even though G-Unit had the lock on merch. Even though uh, uh, P. Diddy got the lock on merch. You know what I mean? Jay-Z had the lock on merch. It's not even merch, it's clothes. But like, they never had their shit rise to the point that Yeezy did though. And I think that's because Yeezy has a taste for fashion and a taste for like, what's good. And I think that's his competitive edge. Everybody else was just making money. Yeah, but some of these brands, I'll be looking at some of these brands and I'll be looking like, that shit is dirt. Like, you know what I mean? Some of that we should just, be ass, we just, wear, sure. we just wear them because it has that Hermes label Sometimes, on it, for sure. Or whatever they case. Like the Balenciaga like. shit, them shits be ugly as fuck, respectfully. Mm-hmm. Like, they be having the fucking butterflies and spikes and whatever the fuck is on there. Like, sometimes that shit is... Sometimes these niggas make dirty shoes on purpose and people buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that insane. Isn't true. This shit look dirty and it's, it's like insane. vintage or some to, shit. Like, it's insane. Not, not to mention, they be taking the same white tee that you would get for five dollars, putting a logo on it, and now that shit one hundred and twenty dollars. Or put holes and rips in it. That's what I'm saying. It's so like I'm you like, just fell off the, the back of a car. <laughs> and it's like sell it for three hundred dollars. So, but I think like we'll say like to to have that longevity, you got to be you got to be yeah looking like you got to be ahead of your time. Like yeah. like what Kanye said, you need he, he is really ahead of his time because he's yes. putting shit out and he's like. People was like, what? What the fuck yeah. is this? But then later on, you was like, people rocking that shit. You know what I mean? Like leather on sweats. Who thought of that shit? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like you look at Stefan Marbury. That definitely had, and then he, yeah, Kanye definitely had the fashion. Game. He got he it on lock, bro. That shit though, like, like that's Stefan okay. Marbury. Like it's like he had a, the idea is great. You know what I mean? But it's like the design of the shoe is actually is terribly made, mm, and man. you can't be upset when people don't get behind it because it's like this don't compete with the Jordan or Adidas or Reebok or it don't compete. Yeah. But it's cheap though. I had them shits because that's all we could afford. Dead ass. So I'm grateful for it. But and I, I, and I think they don't got the vision to keep it going. Like they'll make something that's hot in that moment. But I yeah. think in order to you gotta make something that's maybe timeless, like like Air Force Ones. I don't know who made Air Force Ones, but them shits like was around it's, forever. Yo, the classic like, classic Timberlands. What would Timberlands be without Tim's black word. culture? That's like you know, that's it was going under at one point. Like you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we appraise everything we touch. Yeah, like you know what I mean? And, we and appraise they know everything. that. And it's just like, you know, big bro, what's your thoughts on this being a the, the fashion god that you are? Like, you know what I mean? Now to be honest, Keem took the words out of my mouth. We, we like we value the other brands because like the it's is is about the the, the perception of success. Mm-hmm. You know, wanting to look like we, we, you know, we could wear what the successful people are wearing. Exactly, mm-hmm. essentially, the, just that. Mm-hmm. So if we wore, if if we did want to, you know, have a black uh, designer become pop, and we got for one, they the connections in the market is difficult. Like if you if you want to get you know great quality stuff, you mm-hmm. gotta you, you buy from the right uh, uh, manufacturers, vendors, and, stuff, or, like, yeah, vendors yeah. and stuff like that, and like. They kind of had, for a while, you know, other races had that that lane on lock. Mm, and, still do. Mm, you know, tr- black people trying to get into that era. Yeah. Like they're not giving, they're not opening doors for everybody to win. No, they're not. Open the doors for uh for Kanye. Kanye has been wearing these brands and commercialized it for them forever. So, you know, they they gave him his open and I'm sure they got kickbacks. And he them. struggled to do that. Exactly. Yeah, even when you listen to him on Sway and Sway was like, Exactly. Wait, Come on, you bro. You better stuff? know it. Like, Yo, I don't have the manpower. You better know like, it. That's a fact. Have, like, you know what I'm That's saying? a fact. Like, I can't. Like, That's you know a fact. I mean? That's you a fact. You probably do it now, obviously. 
obviously because nah, he, he for sure. Know, but before yeah. he was like, yo, I just don't have the manpower that Nike has That's or Adidas have. And um, you know, like there be some like black um black owned like boutiques and stuff that I see. And you know, a lot of people's problem with black um, you know, merchandise is just like, oh, this shit is too expensive. We complain about this shit being too expensive, That's true. but we also have to look that these are boutiques. They they can't buy them bulk the same way a yeah, Gucci yeah, could. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? So they're not yeah. getting these fabrics yeah. at a cheaper cost than somebody else was. Yeah. So they is gonna have to price it, you know, a little higher. You know yeah. what I mean? And I hate having that excuse it's like, oh man, you know, I'm black, or it should be cheaper, or it's too expensive, but we would go out and buy. I remember yo in high school, bro. I literally saved up to buy Pradas, bro. I went to the the Prada store in Soho because everybody had Pradas. Like, mm. you know, if you had money, you had Pradas on at that time. Younger we, York we made Prada bro. hot, you know what I mean? Too. Like nobody rocking. You wasn't Prada. rocking Pradas? Nobody in the South was rocking designer. Ah, yeah. Nobody in the South is rocking designer. That is oh, okay. That's, that's, so, that's probably fair. That's probably that's fair. so interesting to me that I get here and I see like people who clearly yo, I promise you, when I first got here, because I, I wasn't familiar with Canal Street and all that shit. When I first got here, I was like, something's not right, bro. Because I'm on a train and everybody got better feats than me. And I'm like, and I know everybody just not getting way more paid than me. <laughs> like, I know that they're not. You know what I mean? But after you've been here almost five years, now you start to understand, like, a lot of it's fake. Mm -hmm. Because it's very accessible to get it. And then it's like, like... Y'all do not mind spending for whatever that thing is to you, whatever that is. Versus in the South, it's you like save checks to get. We would I never do that, money, bro. Yeah. If you're doing that oh, shit in the South, I'm you're a drug dealer. You. I was guilty of it. But I had, but I was one of those kids that had, you know, the summer job. I used used to work after. Just hustling it up. And I definitely saved my money to buy a new pair of products, like. So, like at least once a month. That's a fact. Damn, once a month. <laughs> I was, nigga was, was getting paid. Time. They got every flavor. Like not shit. specifically like, Pradas, but like some sort of designer footwear. I'm not. I was. I was one of those kids. But do do y'all know, know about Pierre? And, and, and huh? learn better. You know about Pierre Moss? Nah. Never what's heard that? Of it. Okay, so go do your googles. Pierre Moss is like probably one of the um, highest fashion designers. Who's a black man? He's Haitian. Mm. And um, he got like one of the dopest sneakers that I ever seen, and like all his shit is like it's definitely higher end. You know, you're gonna pay like close to two hundred dollars, maybe three hundred dollars for a pair of sweats or something like that. Yeah. But his brand, his whole yeah. brand is unapologetically black as fuck. Like even when he do his uh, I don't know what you call it, like his runways or whatever. Mm. Like the whole theme of it be like, yeah, white people, y'all got us fucked. Y'all got us fucked up. You know what I mean? Like mm. this is why we proud to be black. It'll be like a a. a a slavery theme. It sounds crazy, but you got to check it out though. He got an incredible movement, but even him, he stopped selling clothes for almost like a year now. Like you go to his website and it's just like, I go to his website every day just to see like, when are you going to refresh? When are you going to refresh? Yeah. And nothing comes from it. Mm -hmm. So the fashion game is hard, but Pierre Moss is one of the best people out here doing it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I Like one of my goals is to convert my closet and just, I just want all black owned, you know, products. So, That'd you know, be I mean, amazing. Right? It's going to be, it's difficult, but you know, it's you one of my it. goals. Like, you know, yeah, you can do it. One of my goals is helping some of these black owned designers create better product because mm. yes. you know, that, I feel like us. Yeah, you can start here. Right here, nigga. Listen, let me get to this next topic. Um, Keem had, if you could go back in time and change one thing, um, what would it be? Right, or relive a moment, or relive a moment. What what came to me immediately, right, was I had well, I had tweeted. It's not even a tweet. It's threads, whatever. I threaded this. I don't know if that's a thing. Like you know what I mean. But if y'all heard it, I made it. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I had threaded um this post where I was like, if time machine, if time travel is real, whoever invented that shit couldn't have been black. Like I'm be honest with you, because there's no way you have a time machine and you didn't go back and liberate our people. Like you know what I'm saying? That would have been the first thing I would have did, liberated our people. And that's when you said that. That's the first thing I would do if I could go back in time. I would definitely liberate our people from the oppressors. You know what I mean? Like Umar says, the, so, the cave dwellers. Like, so you know from, I mean? the, from the beginning, beginning, like before you got started, I would have to do my, I would have to do my research. Like when, <laughs> when exactly would I teleport to? Like you know what I'm saying? And then yeah, go back and um, and as far as the reliving the moment, yeah. um, I was just thinking about in general. Like I, I, I wasn't there, but if I could live in a moment, yeah. it would definitely be when Mike, Michael Jackson did that moonwalk, bro. I still watch that video to this day. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, that shit just give me goosebumps for some reason. Like, yo, that moonwalk was something special, bro. I wish I was at that Motown, uh, it was a Motown special or whatever they had. Uh -huh. And I wish I could have like lived it in, in person. Like, you know what I mean? There's a ton of things. That one just popped up into my head. Like, you know what I mean? What, what, do you, what about you? pretty good. Reliving a time? Yeah. Or go back and if you go back in times too. Well, when I made this question, I thought about my my happiest time in life. That was probably high school. I had not a kid in the world. Mm. I mean, 
Um, I was I was the fucking man at school too. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I used to like going to school at them times. Like I wake up, like walk in, I'm dapping everybody up, like and everything was just right in the world. Like I had no kid, no bills, no nothing. Like just play ball and this before the veneers or after. <laughs> I was born with these, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we telling her. All right, no, I ain't going to like, I mean, like, high I would rather relive high school. I, I think I would rather relive college. Like, I would probably take advantage more of the resources that was provided. Well, more what, networking and it, stuff it, like it, that. It, it, yes, because mm. I feel like we 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 was always told go to college, but we didn't know what we was going to college for. Like, mm, we all wanted to, you know, get a higher education, but sometimes like you don't really know what you want to do mm. at that point in time, and you you know you created you like this life for yourself of what you see of yourself in the future. And then when you're in that future, that, that's not the life that you want. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's crazy because there's a lot of people with useless college degrees or they get to college and they transfer their degrees and they just waste all this money because now they want to do something different. It's tough to tell somebody in high school, like, yo, what do you want to be for the rest of your life? Like there's so many, and the thing is there's so many occupations in the world that we do not know. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like who would have ever thought that in high school, somebody would be like, yo, I'm going to be a podcast. podcast. Podcast wasn't even a thing. Like, you get Bro, what I'm saying? Like, I'm so you. there's new technologies and new, like, platforms that obviously is being invented that, you know, we don't, that could be our calling right there. It hasn't even been invented yet. You know what I mean? So, right. you know, that, that's a good point. You know what I mean? What about if you go back in time? What would you, if you go back in time to one moment or, like, or whatever the case is? Like, in a distant past, like, I would probably say... Honestly, I want to see the fucking sea part. So whenever yeah. Moses parted that sea, that's, like, <laughs> that's a good one. Like, this I'm, sea I'm part, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's yeah. a good one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I think want to see that too. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, yeah. But all the moments at the Bible, and that's what you're going to. That's, that's what I'm going to Nah, like I what you mean? That's incredible. Yeah, that's is, incredible. I mean, what, what, what you think of that's what? Like incredible to watch in that. Like somebody doing this, and the sea is just in doing this. Sea. Like, nah, yeah. that's wild, bro. It's yeah. Funny about it, so. yeah. <laughs> They said Jesus walked on water. Like I wanted to see that. I want to see that. I would want to see that too. Oh, I, mean, I want to see that shit I mean, too. That's, that's cool too. But <laughs> part in this the scene, scene no, that's a, crazy, you're, you're probably bro. faint. In yeah, actuality. you're I'll probably like, faint. God damn, like, yeah, you're you're probably crazy. actually faint. Well, what's your thoughts on this, Wolf? If I could go back to a point in time, mm -hmm. which point in time would I go back to? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It would have to be some shit like bro, Big Bro said, because it's like in my life, yeah. I wouldn't go back to anything in particular. Um, I know, I've always been also like fascinated with like, you know, the ancient Egyptians and shit like that. So mm. I think I would probably go back to the middle. Yeah, see, how the fuck the motherfuckers built that shit? Because niggas to this day That's still don't know how the fuck they built this shit. Like, I, I mean? feel like there was technology, of obviously not the level of technology that we got now, but I feel like they had more technology than we aware of. Mm -hmm. For sure. It, like. for you know what? I would go back and like, see what my grandfather was doing. That's what I would do. What you mean? So you want to see him beating his meat in the corner when your grandmother <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this was a beautiful moment. He just took it somewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just took it somewhere. Big bro. Big bro. This is what he big bro. Big bro. This is just took it somewhere that's completely that. different. So he said he wanted to see his like, grandfather. I want to my grandfather. Like, no, nah, I, I don't want to see that. The that's fuck? What you they, it kind of sounded like Who this. Who would want to see their grandfather doing that, bro? I, I'm sorry. I, my brain is. You forgive him. You forgive him. You forgive him, bro. This is why he won't be on many of the shows. I would see what my grandfather was up to because, like, my grandfather was has such a prestigious reputation about him. And I don't really remember him that well, but everything that I hear about him was like the best shit you could ever define a man as. You know yeah, what I mean? Like he put hands he put hands and feet on niggas when he need to. Yeah. He owned businesses, you know what I mean? He owned acres of land, nigga had horses, nigga had a couple poor, like he was yeah, a, he was the guy. Yeah, he was okay. that guy. As, right. as a black man in the Midwest, like yeah. he was just doing things that's like, you. You really can't say for a lot of black people in the Midwest at that time. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's just like, he just sound like, I feel like I, even though I don't re remember him, I feel like I know him. And I literally strive to be like a man. I've never, I don't, I've met him, but I don't remember yeah, meeting him yeah, though. Yeah. So if I had to go back in time, it's like, I got to meet my grandpops, bro, for real. That was beautiful. You know, yeah. you know. <laughs> I would, definitely ruined that. Yeah, you definitely ruined that. <laughs> but I would, you know what I want to experience? I wish I was like a, an adult when like Freak Nick and um <laughs> and um my boy when we gotta bring these girls back to the sexual <laughs> and girls going wild yo girls going wild was wild bro like they was just out there ching. like you know what I mean but y'all could put that together now like no funny shit nah, we I don't answer, know bro. I think it'd be too many what? lawsuits and some shit like you know, make a sign many, they must hate their mothers uh, look how they exploiting women and nigga like, whatever <laughs> put some music <laughs> on they can't wait to come and shake their ass like y'all can, can make that happen that, that is true we might have to reconsider food and liquor pull up yeah um getting this last topic right 
Mm-hmm. Do you think the the podcast space is oversaturated, and why do you think so many people are gravitating towards the podcast space to start their own podcast and stuff like that? Well, let's first define what does oversaturated mean. That is a good question. Oversaturated mean is too many people doing podcasts or just in one occupying one space. So you know what I mean. Do you feel like that? You feel like that it, the genre is being oversaturated. Like everybody got a podcast. I'm tired of seeing this podcast. So you know, yeah. it's, it's oversaturated. That's that's kind of hard to argue that it's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, but sure. I don't give a fuck. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the rap industry, but nobody fucking tells exactly. Like, you know what I'm How like, many yeah. at, all, like artists are there right now? I can't even tell you. Not not one of their names. A lot, bro. That's why it's so hard. To like make it, yeah. To the for the people that like Drake and J Cole that man like constantly came at a good time hitting and going platinum and all that, that shit. That you gotta take your head off to that, bro. Like, yeah, because ain't crazy. nobody else doing that. The word, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even if you're an artist, you come out with that one, that one song or whatever. Maybe you you got a good first album. It's no guarantee that your next one is gonna hit like that one hit. Like, nah. you know what I mean? So it's yeah, yeah. it's just crazy. Nah, but, but um, yeah, but why do you think everybody's gravitating towards podcasts? It seems like everybody wants to pick up a, go to go to Best Buy and pick up bro, a podcast the, microphones. The, <laughs> like, you know the barrier of entry is like extremely accessible, bro. Like when you think about like sports, mm-hmm. when you think about music, there's a divide there that stops a lot. Even though it's like mad niggas who do music, it's still a divide that stops people because it's like you gotta be talented, you gotta rhyme, you gotta have cadence, you gotta have rhythm, you gotta have a good ear, mm-hmm. you gotta have hustle in your body to really get your shit your product moving and podcasting it's like oh you mean to fucking tell me i can literally get the cheapest mic humanly possible and just set it up mm-hmm. you have a podcast now mm-hmm. anybody can do it and the truth is it's like there are more people many people have something interesting to say right. a lot of people are funny as fuck a lot of people are deeply insightful a lot of people got stories to tell that are interesting than a bitch you could not be famous at all like yeah. I would I would pay a million dollars to hear a podcast from my grandfather, like a million dollars, because he was just an ill ass nigga. But like, how many people's grandfathers are still living can do this exact same thing though? Mm-hmm. So you know what I mean. So podcasting is is fucking. It. I get why everybody fucking. That's why I'm doing it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing niggas do it. And I'm like, yo, like these niggas is like not the best rappers in the world, or they're yeah. not the best athletes in the world. But look at them striving and thriving though. Even my bosses, the people who keep the lights on in this bitch, I'm looking at them like. They don't have like a particular talent that's just like, oh my God, this nigga's a genius. But fuck it. You're paying for your your family good. You living on both sides of the coast and shit. Like, mm-hmm. I want in on that shit. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's fact. A fact. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I, I like I said, it is oversaturated, but I think people are going to naturally gravitate towards the content that they align with. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, yeah, just like the, with the music, you know what I mean? So this whole thing, oh, everybody's picking up a microphone. Yeah, but not everybody's going to be successful with the microphone. Like nah, everybody can try it. You know what I mean? And I think just everybody just has something to say. And it's, like you said, it's easier. It's like, easier. We just having a conversation that we normally have. Mm-hmm. Now we just got a microphone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And everybody can chip in and have their own, mm-hmm. you know, conversations or whatever their case is. So mm-hmm. I think the accessibility... Um, and there's a lot of work that goes into podcasting that it's people just don't realize. People think they're just gonna get on the mic, there. say it's gonna go viral, and then boom, they did. It might, yeah, it but might. then you gotta maintain it. But like, you, you gotta know maintain know it though, and that's the hard part. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't know the 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 editing. You know what I mean? The the social medias, the different algorithms. We talk about this show all the time. Terabytes. Like, you need right? hard drives. Programs failing, programs expensive, mm-hmm. computers, you need the lint. Nigga, this shit is crazy, the, bro. Depending on guests, you know what I mean? Depending, depending, depending on, on guests. guests. <laughs> was a big that guy. is a fact, you know what I mean? And then, you know, I think, you know, I was listening to Shannon, um, Shannon Sharp and, you know, people were critiquing his interviewing mm-hmm. skills, but, uh, interviewing skills yeah, yeah. with um, Cat Williams, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think we're into the, we're in the point, the point where... People not necessarily want that professional journalism no more. Like we want honest, real conversations. Because like, you it know gives what I mean? you the, the, it makes you feel like okay, this is a rehearsed conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's I'd like, rather have a genuine, you know, mm-hmm. random people talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. sure could, what, could people be more research? Sure, but I think p- people just genuinely want a good conversation. They want to feel like they having that conversation. They they want you to ask the questions that you know people are not scared to ask. You know what I mean? So I think people mm-hmm. will gravitate more towards the podcasters and you know not the unconventional. Journalism, you know what I mean, because it's just more real and authentic, and people just seem to like that more. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. And, and what we'll say is important. Like, I think this is. I don't want to say you need the least amount of talent to do it, but compared to like, yeah, going to the NBA, going to yeah. the NFL, you don't got to be six foot. You don't or going to college or some you, shit. You know, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't got to go to college. You like, know what I mean? I think if if you're a person that's 
that people generally want to hear and you're entertaining. And yeah, you, you make you them should. feel something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Pick up a mic and try it. You know what I mean? But it is it is harder work than it looks. Like. Yeah, no, <laughs> and start. you might not. People be like, I, yo, I, I hate when people be like, yo, man, y'all, y'all should have went off on those women. Like, da, 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 da. I'm like, yo, it's not as easy as you think. And plus, you know, mm-hmm. once you start to get in more successful, you do got to worry about we can't have that type of brand because now people might not come on our pop oh, uh, platform. Mm. We not we might not get um, business endeavors exactly. because exactly. you know they feel like oh our rhetoric is just hard. Yeah. So as much as like you know we try to be as real and honest, like we can't go to that next level because yeah. number one that's just not who I am in general. Exactly. Like that's not how none of us are. Like you know what I mean. But two, you do got to worry about the business at the end of the day. Like you know what I mean. You're not gonna get far. Those people that be cursing people out and do wilding out, they not gonna they get gonna, as far. They gonna hit because, a ceiling, man. Mm, yeah, because no, they're not gonna get the, gonna the, the ads. Yeah. Um, they're not gonna get the sponsorships. They're not gonna get the guests that's gonna pull up. They might get right. some guests, but the main guests that they really want. You know, you think you think Umar would have pulled up if we was on some like yo fuck bitches giving like nah, yeah, he'd be like, exactly, nah bro. like yo I'm good. But exactly, you know, bro. He obviously on our platform was like you know what these guys are decent. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not going to associate himself with something yeah. like that. Yeah. Shout so, yeah. And Shout you just, and you miss out, when you become that kind of podcast, you miss out on other beautiful moments that can be captured. Like you just said, Dr. Umar, like, that was a big moment for me when I met Dr. Umar. Like, when my when my boss figured out Dr. Umar was here, that nigga ran from where he was at just to get here. And, like, when he got his number, me and my boss had a moment where we looked at each other, we was like, <sighs> like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that wouldn't have happened. If you was out here slandering women yeah, yeah, yeah. and oppressing women and putting women, that would have never happened. And so these niggas will never know what it's like to have a to capture a beautiful conversation. Like, nigga, three months from now, you might have a conversation with a 70-year-old woman and she might have everybody in this bitch shocked. You might just be listening to every word she's saying. Like, you don't get that opportunity when you're doing that type of content. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you got to... Podcasting is a beautiful thing, bro. I'm super grateful for it. It's oversaturated, but yeah. the people, it's like leaves or some shit like that. Like leaves gonna fall off and new ones gonna grow. Like if you're not supposed to be here, you're not gonna be here. Yeah, it's just exactly. that simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's and the, to natural- the next the, To the next form of media. <laughs> yeah, Wolf is like, they call him Eric Badu. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> so until people figure out the next form, because obviously there there will be something that's, you know, like radio and the radio evolved into podcast and podcast is going to evolve into something else. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't know what it is yet, but it's going to it's going to get there. Like, you know what I mean? So nah, anyway, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know, this is like uh, just we try to do more of these episodes. I'm not going to lie. We do got some um, guests lined up, personal guests that we're going to have. Try to have more conversations that we think y'all would want to hear outside of the women. You know what I mean? We still going to have those. But, you know, we want some personal conversations that y'all can relate to. And uh, Let us know in the comments what topics y'all want us to discuss, talk about. Um, I might have been wilding on that Juel take. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, like, look, you know now you like, like, you're thinking about it right. I don't know, yeah, but nah. let me let, let me know, man. Yeah. Like, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, subscribe, join the membership, cop the merch, and subscribe to the second YouTube channel, man. We out. Yo, stand stand on business, man. I thought we left that in 2023. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to bring it up for this one. Right? <laughs> Please leave safety in 2023, too. I don't want to hear safety no more. Oh, nah, safety. Safety, gotta, you gotta have safety, safety. everybody. You know